Hey everybody and welcome back to my channel. I am Jamie Jo and today I have a pretty frantic video that I'm giving you but it is on this curly hairstyle. I actually filmed this this morning before going to an event and I completely forgot to film an intro so I'm filming it now. I have done this hairstyle and executed this hairstyle a lot better in the past but I wanted to show you the basic gist of it so that you can wear it to any events that you have. It looks super beautiful for work events, um, I don't know, formals, weddings, birthday dinners, anything you've got. It looks so pretty for curly hair. It gets your hair off your face, but you can still show off your curls at the back. And I just really love the cutesy vibe that it gives. So if you're interested in seeing how I achieve this hair look, stay tuned and I hope you enjoy guys. I'll be back with more videos very soon. And I have an announcement in my next video coming. All right. Bye! I'm going to show you all the products you're going to need to execute this hairstyle well. Some, like, I mean, you can definitely do this without all these products and tools, but it will make it a little bit easier. I'm going to start with a hair gel. I like to use any hair gel. This one is from Curly Girl Movement. It's their curl defining gel. And then my favorite spray for curly hair, which is a hairspray, but less harsh, is the Curls and Clouds, Curls and Clouds Volume Spray. Almost finished, but I've got heaps of backups. Now, in terms of brushes, I'm going to be using a small hand comb. This is literally $5 from Hair House Warehouse. And this is a Devon brush with really um, kind of finer, softer bristles because this is great at smoothing the hair back. I'll link it below. I have a few hair ties here, one scrunchie and some regular hair ties and some bobby pins. Oh, and last up, some edge, like a little eyebrow brush for my edges and some edge control gel. This one is from Cantu. Let's get a move on. So what I'm going to do to begin with is part my hair. I don't care too much about super slick lines. If you do, you can use a really fine comb to get a perfect part. I'm going to be taking sections from my ears to execute this hair look. This would look much nicer if you had styled curls. I didn't bother styling them this week, so there's no product in them. It really is like half of your head. This is the top section. But we're going to tuck away this bottom section for now so that it doesn't get caught when we're tying a hair tie. Otherwise, it's really uncomfortable. So let's tie away that bottom section. So we do want to part our hair really nicely and neatly at the top. If you want a softer, more feminine look, I would go for a side part. But if you want something slightly edgier um, and more trendy, I would go for a middle part. I'm going to go for a middle part today. As I said, it's also easier. So brush back. And then your natural part should be pretty easy to find. Boom, I just do mine like that. Now I'm going to start first with a gel. This one's almost out, so just get what I can from it. And you want to apply this everywhere. I like to start backwards. And then you can use some on the top as well. Okay, now I'm going to take this comb and I'm going to start working it backwards. You don't want it to go straight back. You want to follow that part and start brushing like so. So we're basically going to be brushing around and then into a ponytail. We won't do the ponytail just yet, but we're going to be aiming to do the ponytail in the mid part of the head. So like, kind of like your crown. If it's too high, this hairstyle won't work, but if it's mid, the part will stay and it'll look really nice. And it's just really good at smoothing all that hair back. Can you see that? Amazing. Let's do the other side. Now I'm going to join the two sections together and kind of roughly place where I want my ponytail to be. This is exactly where I want it to be. Now I'm going to get to work on smoothing and keeping it there. Now I'm going to apply my curls and clouds spray. You can use a regular hairspray. It will do the same thing. I just really like this spray. This is what we look like. Let's go back in with this brush and get, you know, you want to smooth it back and then grab it really tight with the other hand so that you're going to get the smoothest pony possible. Now this middle section of the hair, you can join the part together. I think I'm going to try and get this in a pony. All right. All right. Keep the ponytail really close to your head. Really, really, really close. All right. Final one is super important. 
done. It's not too bad. Now, when you are um, doing that tip ponytail, don't push it upwards. Again, keep it down. I'm super happy with this. Okay, now let's get to work on smoothing it a little bit more. Let's add some more head work. Oh yeah, this is a good one, Jamie. See how there's going to be a lump here? We'll just pin that down. If you do a bun, it would easily hide that. But I'm just not a professional and I don't know how to get rid of the bumps any other way. Um. What I'm going to do is just brush it out very gently and add a little bit of product into it. Um, it's still going to look big and fluffy. I don't mind. Um, I just want to remove a little bit of the knots. I'm actually going to apply in this LV Hyaluron Plum Spray from L'Oreal. It is amazing, amazing at refreshing my hair. I'm going to use this in place of water today because I have no other product in the bottom of my hair and it's just been sitting in a bun. So it can take a little bit of product. This looks absolutely so pretty. I'm going to have to show you in a better like environment, in better lighting. But quickly, I like to finish off my look by fixing these little flyaways. Nothing too intense. I'm using the edge gel and I just tap my little wand in here and swipe off the excess. And then I literally just grab whatever baby hairs are flying about and I just smooth them down. I will admit guys it's not my best today because I am in a rush but I'll come back and show you my finished look when I'm about to leave and my curls will be a little bit more dry and I'll just show you in a better framing so you can see it all together. My hair is still a little bit wet but by the time I get there it's going to look really pretty. I I really love this hairstyle. I literally wear it all the time. Actually to dance class and dance auditions to be honest. But yeah, just for events it looks so pretty, so classy and you can still see your really really pretty curls, but you've got it, your hair off your face so you can see your face as well. Bye.